Today on Engineering Newswire, we're 3D printing documentaries, turning on toilet lights, and riding the flying phantom above the water. Every day we receive stories on groundbreaking design work spanning every market. But there's another side to this coin story metaphor. For every biolight improving the quality of life in third world countries, link below. We received 10 tush lights. Yeah, let's talk toilet lights. Click the link below. Bill Gates and his foundation may be off reinventing the toilet overseas, but what about our problems here at home? On American soil? What about the restroom run-in that forces you to squat before popping? The aptly named Tush Lights is an automated LED lighting system designed to increase public bathroom traffic flow by letting you know where to go. They were just installed in the 17,000 seat Hollywood Bowl and significantly improved flow. Mounted to the ceiling, Tush Light sensors detect squatters and flip the LED from green to red. According to the company co-founder and CEO, Alan Clevins, the Hollywood's bowls have increased flow by 100%. Not bad when you have exactly 13 minutes during intermission before the house lights start to flash. The company is even working on an app that will not only tell you where the nearest bathroom is, but how many stalls are available. It's a great concept, but I'm not downloading that app until it provides real-time maintenance updates. Some people are just animals in there. Oh. Print the legend is a film about 3D printing. Well, desktop 3D printing. Well, it's a documentary about the triumphs and failures of engineering startups that just happen to be 3D printing companies. Perhaps you've heard of uh, Brie Pettis? Somebody uh, did a story on him last year. Bingo! The MakerBot CEO has become the Steve Jobs of 3D printing, but the company has had a lot of challenges along the way. The startup began by championing open source hardware, then went to closed source, then they were bought by Stratasys for 400 million bucks. On the other hand, Formlabs, which that same somebody covered back in fall of 2012, Shazam! was the most successful Kickstarter ever, which led to distribution issues and major challenges for a company with few resources and fewer employees. While those two startups were working to survive, the massive companies and original pioneers of 3D printing, Stratasys and 3D Systems, were enjoying their growing margins as 3D printing popularity spread. Print the Legend, which premiered Sunday at South by Southwest, takes a hard look at the challenges of emerging companies trying to play ball in a world of big dollar capitalism, even in a niche market. Entrepreneurs in 3D printing, what's not to love? Thanks guys, after the toilet humor and indie documentaries, you think we could add a little engineering muscle to this episode? Look at this thing. It's called the Flying Phantom and it's pure, unadulterated awesome. Phantom International has introduced its next generation of foiling catamarans, the Flying Phantom. I mean, come on, tell me what is not awesome about that name. Show that photo again. Yeah! The Flying Phantom features a combination of L-shaped foils and T-shaped rudders, providing pitch and heave stability in full flight, but also being competitive in light winds. The carbon epoxy hulls in combination with a carbon mass built in an autoclave result in significant weight reduction. The increased total beam improves the stability, while foiling and longer mass provide additional power. The Flying Phantom's current tested max speed has been 33 knots, but Phantom's Nicholas Felix believes that limit can be pushed. That's nearly 40 miles per hour on the sea. Well, above the sea, since hydrofoiling means you're riding two feet above the water. Above it. Woo! water! Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.